Welcome back to On the Beat, everyone. I'm your host, Rachel Hurt, and we're in the studio with Amanda Fondren and Heather Holloway of Omnis Health Clinic. And today we're talking about something that's hard for me to say. It is the MTHFR gene polymorphism or gene mutation. Right? I get it right yes. this time? Yes. Excellent. So tell me about this gene mutation and why our viewers need to know what it is, how they can treat it. Okay, so it's actually a very important thing to be aware of in patients. It changes how the body is able to convert folic acid into folate, which is the usable form of that vitamin in the body. Mm -hmm. And if your body's unable to change that folic acid to folate, it disables a lot of the body's ability to unlock different processes that help detoxify the cells. Really? Mm -hmm. What? So what type of problems would that disability to detoxify cause? So over time, especially as someone ages, you can start to see more autoimmune diseases, especially thyroid disease, whether it's autoimmune or not. Um, neurological issues like depression and anxiety, problems with addiction, multiple sclerosis, fibromyalgia, um, some really chronic diseases. It can also cause high homocysteine levels, which can contribute to vessel disease, coronary artery disease, and heart attacks and strokes and stuff like that. How can you help the body to fight those ailments off if you have this? The main way to do that is to take folate in the form that the body can already use it, which is methylfolate. Mm -hmm. And w once the body has an adequate level of folate in it from taking the methylfolate, it's able to do those processes, methylation, chelation. It helps then detoxify the cells and you're less likely to have some of those chronic diseases occur because of that. And methylfolate, is that something that we can find over the counter? Is it a prescription? Are there different grades of it, I guess was, would be the right question? So you can find it over the counter, but not usually at Walmart, CVS, mm -hmm. Walgreens, places like that. Um, around here, we can, I was talking in my office, mm -hmm. Robert at Robert's Apothecary has it, and, and you can find it on places like Amazon or Vitamin, places online. Okay, mm -hmm. and you, you touched on some of the, the symptoms. How, how would someone know that they might have this? You would have to do either a blood test, mm -hmm. a DNA test of some sort. Okay. Um, one test I do that's connected to a lot of other looks at genes is the gene site test, mm -hmm. but strict, strictly just for this MTHFR test, you can do a blood test. Just a regular blood panel, which you do right. in your office. Right, I do. And how long does it take to get those results back usually? It can take up to a week on, on this test. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can imagine that the body not being able to detoxify itself could really lead to some serious health issues. It can. I mean, and just from, you know, migraines, I, what, yes. what, tell me some more of these triggers that this could set off. So I have seen a lot of patients that have a lot of headaches and mm -hmm. then turns out they have a MTHFR gene polymorphism. Um, weight gain? I, inability to lose weight. Metabolic oh. issues, period. Really? Pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, are, the body is way more prone to, to develop that with this MTHFR gene mutation. That is yeah. really, really interesting. I mean, just things that we probably think are everyday mm -hmm. ailments. It's our body not being able to fight these things off because of the lack of... Right. The, it's a breakdown yeah. of our normal body function because it's not able to function correctly. Okay. Well, I, I can't wait to learn more about this. Thank you so much. I've never heard about it, yeah. but I'm going to learn more. And if you want to learn more, you can find the information on your screen on how to reach Amanda and Heather at Omnis. We'll be back after this short break.